devops is easy to learn no? but there is one chance that you might get lost or get overwhelmed by all the concept which devops has all this concept concept will make sure you are overwhelmed and uh, you will be lost in a learning phase or uh, you might not even try to get uh, some job or something like that because you will think that there is lots of things to learn and you are not yet finished so let me just give you a few tips using which you can uh, learn devops faster it's always tough to learn some technology which doesn't have any kind of end to it uh, but uh, there are some tips uh, using which you can learn this uh, once you learn it uh, you might try to get job faster or you'll understand that okay what exactly devops will take from you first point which i want to make in this video is uh, you need to start learning how to execute one program you are not a programmer or you might not have that much knowledge about programming but executing a program that's something which you can learn for example there is one website how you can release that particular website that particular thing you have to learn or maybe there might be some program which is written in node.js or php or some other language and you need to know how to actually run that particular program for example in node.js we can run program by typing npm start that's how one node.js program is ran the moment we write this particular command immediately we'll get output that whatever the application which is meant to do so this is what something which you have to learn in the beginning there are so many frameworks and languages out there which require some program to be executed in order to get the output so just try to learn a few of these things that like how you can execute one particular program or moreover one project another tip which i want to give is start to learn how does one virtual machine works create some virtual machines maybe create one ubuntu server or some other linux distribution server and see how does all those things operate maybe you need to give some network access to it maybe you need to run some upgradation command in it so just try to explore all these things when you're running server virtual machines you won't be getting entire desktop you'll be just getting command line so that time it's best way to understand like how does that particular command line works and now it's opportunity to whatever the program which you executed earlier to be executed in this particular virtual machine so that you will understand how does one program will run on production level another thing which i want to tell you is uh, create account in all these cloud providers maybe amazon web services or maybe google cloud or microsoft azure or even digital ocean all these cloud providers uh, will have lots of service inside them and try to explore all these services so when you are exploring all these services you will try to understand that okay we have to create some resources and once we create those resources we can actually delete it uh, or maybe we can run it uh, suspend it all the other options you can see it just make sure you delete whatever you create else you will be charged for it most of these cloud providers will provide you free tire where you can use some of their services for free for one year or some months like that so because of this you can try it that time one important point comes you need to look at the pricing also how much does one virtual machine costs or how much does running one particular service or multiple services might cost they provide you with lots of calculators and all once you are familiar with all these services then just try to calculate how much does one service might cost for a business to run one website or something like that that is going to always help you to make sure that whatever the website or service which one organization wants to run how much exactly that might cost at least you should have some estimation in your head whenever you are executing one command or something like that you will learn a lot from whatever the calculator which uh, these cloud providers will provide you they are very tough to use but once you will be familiar with whatever the services which these cloud providers will have you will be able to understand how to use all these calculators which is present in uh, these platforms another important thing which you have to learn is uh, you need to learn uh, how does one git and github works git and github are most popular technology which is used everywhere these technologies will help you from uh, organizing the code till releasing it on production level or even testing level platforms so git and github will surely help you so that you can make sure whatever the code which you want to send it to production or even testing environment goes through git and as well as github only last point which i want to make is once you are familiar with all the above things which i have told now try to learn all those fancy technologies like docker kubernetes or maybe terraform all these devops complex words there to overwhelm you 
but actually if you are familiar with the basics of the technologies which i said earlier like virtual machine uh, releasing a website or uh, cloud providers uh, then all this jargons are there right in devops uh, those will become very easy it is it will be just name which will be scary for you but uh, whatever the technology is out there uh, you will be familiar with it because whatever these primitive technologies which i told in the beginning uh, all these technologies like docker and other things uh, will be using those technologies in some or other form because of that you will be able to learn and uh, understand what are those things faster and most companies uh, will use their own technologies or some other technologies uh, it's not about learning all these fancy technologies in devops uh, it's just that uh, do you have what it takes uh, to learn whatever the technologies which they are using on their uh, organization maybe they have terraform in their organization then if you don't know what is terraform then it's fine you can always google it or you can always go to youtube and learn it but if you don't know what is virtual machine or what is cloud provider or what or what and all services are there in cloud provider then it's very tough to learn all these technologies and there are something like jenkins and all if you know how to use git and github then learning jenkins is not that much tough because it's just in also sending something to production level and creating some pipelines using which you can literally transfer some code to some other environment maybe one virtual machine or maybe some production database or something like that learning all these things are not complex if you already know the basics so that's why don't get overwhelmed by devops just try to be calm and learn all these technologies one by one you will be able to get job if you find it and if you are actually knowledgeable in devops so learning devops is easy it's just overwhelming technologies will cost you to get little bit behind in terms of learning devops so if you want to learn more about devops here is one video you can watch it and see you in the next video bye bye